Hello guys, my name is Deep Chiring Lepcha. On behalf of the entire IM Editor team, welcome to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up and configure SSH on a Cisco router. We're going to use 1841 series of router 1841 and we're going to do this whole setup in Cisco Packet Tracer. Let's begin. There, we're going to use Cisco Packet Tracer. Just click on the icon. Here you can see Cisco Packet Tracer. Over there you can see the guest login. Just click on it. Or you can use username and password of your valid netacad.com account. Confirm. And you're logged in. Now we're going to use uh, 1841 series of router. Just click on icon, folder icon and drag and drop. This is 1841 series of a router. All right. Now we're going to choose PC, so click on PC, hold control button and just click on it. You'll get two PCs. Now we're going to use switch. So go to this icon and click on switch icon. There you can see 2960 series of switch. Okay. Now we're going to connect these devices with cables so click on the bolt sign this is lightning bolt all right we're going to use standard straight that means to connect different devices we are going to use standard straight cable switch to router and then router to switch and then again switch to pc okay now we're going to make a little bit larger view for this topology okay bring it to the corner side okay now i'm going to assign ip address so all ip address are labeled up on the router interface and to the pcs as well so we are going to assign these ip addresses on the router so click on router expand it a little bit click on CLI command line interface there you can see would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog box this is the first message when you boot up the router at the first time so we're going to type no to skip now there you can see router this is user exit mode enable brings you to the privilege mode this is privilege mode and we're going to go to global configuration mode so configure terminal brings you to the global configuration mode here do show ip interface brief this shows you that our fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is unassigned so we're going to assign ip address on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and then ip address would be 192.168.1.1 slash 24 we are going to use no shutdown to turn on the interface no shutdown turns off the interface to show ip interface brief there you can see the ip address has been assigned and status is up so it's working fine now we're going to assign fast ethernet 0 slash 1 ip address it's unassigned exit and then interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 there you can see ip address 192.168.2.1 and slash 24 of subnet mask no shutdown that that brings your interface up this is how we assign an ip address to the interface there you can see it's uh, showing up amber sign that means uh, at the background on the switch side it's running spanning tree protocol it will take around 30 seconds click uh, now we're going to go to pc so click on pc zero Go to desktop, IP configuration. There we're going to assign IP address for this PC, 192.168.1.2. Default gateway would be 1.1, 1.1, .1. all right. This is the default gateway and it's re it re related to interface of a router. So we're going to verify the IP address of this PC, IP config, that shows you the IP address of the PC there and 
we're going to ping from the PC to the router. This is the IP address of the router. So ping, it's getting successful. Reply. So it's uh, configured successfully. Ping 192.168.2.1. That means we're going to ping to the other interface of the router. It's uh, pinging successfully again. Now we're going to go to ping from PC0 to PC1 and it's infinite ping from PC1 to PC2. So it's showing request timed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back. Now we're going to assign IP address to this computer PC2. All right. There you can see a request timed out. This is PC0. This is PC1. This one. Click on desktop. Click on IP configuration. Assign an IP address to this PC. It's 192.168.2.2 and 192.168.2.1 would be this default gateway for this PC. This is the IP address. Default gateway. Just close this and IP config. There you can see down there, it's pinging successfully from PC1 to PC2. Ping. This is from PC2 to router 1. Gateway. Now pinging from PC2 to PC1 to this router interface. Okay, it's working fine. Now we're going to ping from PC1 to PC0. PC1 to PC0. Ping 1.8.1.2. There you can see successful reply. So now we are going to actually enable SSH on this router. Host name R1. We're going to change the host name. IP domain name Cisco.com. You have to assign host name and domain name it's mandatory for ssh crypto key generate rsa so we're going to use 1024 but before we assign this uh, bits use question mark to view that um, 360 is the minimum and 2048 is the maximum bits you can enable we're going to use 1024 it's totally fine for the practice it has been generated now what we are going to do now we are going to create username and password uh privilege level privilege level will be 15 administrative level privilege password would be user one and username would be user one as well so this username is being created in the local database we are going to go to the line VTY zero space four and this is five users simultaneously log in zero sp space four login local that uses local database transport input SSH and telnet. Okay, we only are going to use SSH so you can use this command transport input SSH. If you want to enable both SSH and Telnet, you can use this command. It's not uh, taking in this pa Cisco packet tracer. So use question mark. You can use all. But in live devices, you can use Telnet and SSH separately. Exit. Now we have configured SSH to show history. This is the IP domain name, crypto key generate RSA username. There you can see this, these are the configurations you have to perform in the router. Now go to PC1. Now uh, drag down a little bit, scroll down. There you can see Telnet SSH client. Just click on that console. There you can see you can choose Telnet or SSH. We're going to uh, select SSH. Use the IP address 192.168. This is PC1, this one. And IP address would be 2.1. And username would be user1. Click on connect. There you can see from PC1 to router, username would be user1 and password would be user1. Show IP interface brief. It has been logged successfully. That means our SSH has been configured successfully.
there you can see the IP address global configure terminal now we're going to assign IP address on this interface remotely interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address would be 192.168.3.1 slash 24 no shutdown to show IP interface brief there you can see that IP address has been assigned it's showing down because no interface uh, no cable has been connected to that interface exit now uh, click on the router to show IP interface brief brief okay sorry B R I E F there you can see that uh, the IP address has been assigned to the router but we have configured this remotely right so go to PC 0 just click on add okay expand a little bit bring it down telnet and SSH client you can select telnet for this uh, configuration um, type in the IP address of the router 1.1 from PC 0 to this router interface click on connect type in username user1 and password would be user1 successfully logged in show IP interface brief PRIEF there you can see the IP address has been showing successfully that means uh, our configuration is successfully done thanks for watching